Hi everyone and welcome. I'm currently visiting my parents in Europe and it's so hot here that I pretty much live on frozen smoothies and homemade gelati. And I have realized that I have never shared a gelato recipe with you, so here it is. My favorite type of gelato is fruit based, so that's what we are going to make today. You can use any ripe fruit you like. I'm gonna go with mangoes. The next ingredient is full fat coconut milk. This brings me to what the difference between ice cream and gelato is. Gelato contains less fat, so it's lighter, cooler and more refreshing than ice cream. However, you still need high fat ingredients for the best results. So I always go with canned full fat coconut milk because store bought milks in carton packaging are usually too thin producing watery texture. The coconut milk also works really well with the tropical flavor of mangoes. Finally, a little bit of sweetener, I'm using maple syrup, and we are ready to blend. Blend until smooth and then pour the mixture into an airtight container, ideally a silicone one. Tap it on the counter a few times to get rid of any air bubbles and put it in the freezer until completely frozen. Once frozen, remove the mango gelato from the container and cut it into small cubes. I had to let the gelato thaw out for a few minutes to get it out of the glass container I used. That's why I mentioned using a silicone container because you can just peel it away. Add the frozen cubes into a food processor and blend it until all the frozen crystals are completely broken down. The final consistency should resemble a soft serve. Transfer the mango soft serve into a freezer safe container and put it into a freezer for 3 to 6 hours, depending on how soft or firm you like your gelato. Thank you. 
Now an important serving tip. Because home freezers are set to very low temperatures, make sure you take your gelato out of the freezer 10 to 20 minutes before serving. This will make it easier to serve because gelato's lower fat content means it freezes rock hard. And that's it, mango gelato that has a very intense fruity flavor, clean texture and vivid color. I have shared with you a couple of ice cream recipes already and I knew that we had to do a taste test for this one right away because Tanner is kind of an ice cream monster. So the other day I made vanilla ice cream and then I walked into the kitchen in the morning and the container with ice cream was gone, empty. And just yesterday I walked into the living room and he was eating like 10 freezies. So here we go. It's hot. <laughs> Must be cool. Um, yes, if the color is deceiving. I'm detecting hints of banana. There are no bananas in this. But I think it's the, yeah, a banana kind of has that full flavor. I don't know how else to describe it. But the mangoes, which probably very much need to be ripe. Yes, They have to be like, yeah. to get that sweet flavor, you have to have them ripe. In this case, we've got that, so we're lucky that way. So just make sure when you're making this, it's going to taste like the mango you put into it. Like, I don't think there's any added sugar. There's maple syrup. There's maybe There's syrup. a little bit though, not very much. Okay, but consider that. Like you gotta make sure that your yeah, fruit yeah. is ripe. So this is coming through. I had the mangoes prior to them being <laughs> part of the sherbet. So it tastes very much the same. That's really crucial to this recipe. So if you get good ingredients, it's gonna taste like this. And as far as the coconut milk that's in there. Yeah, can you detect that? Yeah, like there's probably that like, coconut residue um, where it like leaves almost, almost an oily taste. It makes it nice and smooth. That's what I'm detecting. But other than that, it tastes like mangoes. Yeah, it Plain does taste like mango. Mm -hmm. That's like the primary flavor. And if you're wondering why it's so hard, like mm -hmm. why we are having such hard time scooping it, I threw it in the freezer, cranked up the freezer, and I just took it out because it's so hot here. So it normally has like a softer consistency, but now it's like super hard. Mm -hmm. I <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.